what's going on everybody? So right now I am in Newark Penn Station. I'm going to meet Chris Sherry out at New York Penn Station. And we got a crazy journey today. We're gonna go up to Westchester County, to Mount Vernon to go check out something really cool that I've been wanting to show you guys on the vlog ever since I found it. So join me on this journey. We're gonna head out to the city. I'm finally here in loud New York City. It's super noisy today and very busy. It's rush hour in the morning. Now, Sherry is in Secaucus. I'm gonna go over to Penn Station, meet up with him, so I should be there by the time he pulls in. So Chris and I made it onto the 6 train uptown. We're heading to Fordham Road in the Bronx, which we gotta take an express there. But so far, the 6 train looks like it is an express. So we'll see how this journey pans out, but we're gonna be on the train for a while until we get to the Bronx. All right, we are just stepping off of the 5 train. Our 4 train should be coming shortly. We're gonna take that up all the way through the Bronx, but we just wanted to get as far up as possible with just the trains that were available. One stop away, it's gonna be about 10 minutes. Not bad for three bucks, I gotta say. Like, it's definitely worth the price. All right, well, we are now in East Mount Vernon, outside of New York City. We are now in Westchester County. Westchester County. Never been out here before on the vlog, so this is a really, really new thing for both of us. We're that much closer to Tarrytown, New York. Which is the last place that Sherry Road Metro <laughs> so North to. CT Rail, though, not, not gonna lie, was really fucking good. I really enjoyed that. And I've never been. I mean, Connecticut's a nice state. They probably pump funds into CT Rail, you know? Yeah, those were the nicest commuter trains I've ever been on in my life. Thanks, Ned Lamont. <laughs> We making it up all of these hills in Mount Vernon to get to the abandoned station. We are here, we made it. Very cold outside right now, but we were just chilling inside the abandoned station for a, quite a bit, almost an hour, and we just finished up there. It was pretty good. Um, there's not much to it because there's like one platform and then the other side leads just up to the parking lot that's of this development that's behind us. And this, the, oh, the best part of it was the tunnel. I really enjoyed that. But now we're gonna head back to, I would say Manhattan. Check out some abandoned tunnels. So let's get to the train. <laughs> On our way to the station, we found where another part of the old platform would be and the station house is at the end, so this is where the train would have stopped. So I guess maybe this was part of something at some point. I don't know. All right, so we decided because we just missed our train to Grand Central and the next one's in like 40 minutes and it takes 28 minutes to walk to the top station. Never been to the top of the subway line or any subway line in the Bronx, so I guess we'll make it worth it. We're gonna beat our train the next one to Grand Central, so it doesn't matter, but we're gonna have to walk like a mile. windy 
out here, but we are transferring to the 5 train at 180th Street. It's still in the Bronx, but we're going to get down to Manhattan soon enough. In we're going to no take time. an express. Expresso. Finally back in the city. Now we're going to get two bros. All right, well, we just finished up at two bros. It got really, really sunny here in Manhattan. So we are going down to Bowery and Canal Street to go to the abandoned stations because it's been a minute since we've been over there. Well, we just made it to Bowery from Canal Street and we're gonna walk in the tunnels from Bowery to Canal Street. That's the plan. That is so insane that we just like went through that door and just blended in with everybody else and holy shit, like nothing ever happened. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are heading to 50 Leonard Street because there's like a new like architectural feature that was just added to the bottom of it. So we're gonna go, we finished up our fried dumpling. It was delicious. And yeah, we're probably gonna head to the subway from there, go to the village. Look everyone, it's us. It's really windy right now. It's really us. Well, this is the bean, but not in Chicago, in New York, underneath 50 Leonard. <laughs> To Washington Square Park. I know the light is crazy right now because it's golden hour. It's a beautiful thing. Legally, this is a Shirley Temple. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up hanging at Washington Square Park. We met this kid, David. Definitely not a kid, he was 26. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we just finished up with him. We were talking for a while, we met him, and he was super chill. But now we're walking to the subway because it's starting to get really fucking cold. Let's head to the Trade Center, I guess. Yes, sir. We are at the World Trade Center. Sherry is dipping. He's going up to Penn Station because he got called back home. He's going to Saddle. So we're going to split paths right here. I'm going to go back it's over to Newark. Sam. Yeah, is what it is. So I will see you, brother. All right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Made it back to Newark, and now I just gotta take the light rail. I might just walk to the military park station just because I haven't been to Newark in a bit. And then, uh, yeah, I'll head over there, take the bus, whatever. <laughs> Okay, made it to Bloomfield Avenue. I don't know why the announcements were like one stop ahead of the actual stops, but my bus comes in about 10, 15 minutes. So not a bad wait time compared to last time. 
Well, I don't know why my bus hasn't shown up. I've been here for over 25 minutes now. I just don't think the 28 exists. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take whatever next bus gets me as far up Bloomfield Ave as possible. Hopefully try and get to Bay Street in Montclair and then just take the train from there because at this point it's fucking freezing and I'm kind of desperate to get back to Montclair. <laughs> All right, I made it to downtown Montclair. I'm going to Bay Street Station just because that is the quickest and also cheapest way I can get back to Montclair without taking the bus all the way because I guess my bus just doesn't fucking exist. Yeah, it just doesn't. All right, well, I just can't seem to get lucky with public transportation today. My luck has just run out completely because my phone is now completely dead and I know I have enough money to pay for the train ticket, but I only have the little departure board on the NJ Transit ticket machine that's telling me that my train to Hackettstown is 30 minutes delayed and my other train that would go directly to MSU and stop there is 30 minutes away. So that's fun. I guess I'm just going to be here for a while just like I was at Bloomfield, but at least there's more shelter and I got really warmed up by that bus. So. Yeah, morale is a little low, but we're, we're, we're gonna push through. We're gonna make it back to MSU.